Something I've noticed, which is a really cool technique, if I do this. Okay, there's nothing. Well, it's morning for me. So it looks a little bit different because it's only me on camera today. Amelia is not filming with me because this was a very spontaneous decision of mine to do some DIYs. I'm actually doing some Christmas DIYs today um, just for my house because I like to like save money and make things myself, especially if it's like quite easy. So I'm thinking of making a few things today and I thought I would vlog it anyway. Um, um, because I was gonna do it anyway, so. So the state of my house is currently this. This is the day after um, Amelia and I were decorating my house in Christmas wonderland type of theme. This is the tree so far. I think I'm still looking at it to see what I can do. But anyway, we didn't finish obviously the whole house because that's a mission in itself that takes a long time to decorate, especially if you're decorating every room. We don't have many rooms in this house. We only have this one, which is my master bedroom. And then we have my spare room as well. I currently have my camera still sitting there because I couldn't be bothered to put it away because yeah, I was tired last night. Anyway, so today I'm going to do some DIYs by myself and I'm gonna take you along. Oh, and all these DIYs are going to be incorporated throughout the rest of the video that we're filming of decorating the whole house. I think Michael might be helping me decorate part of the house as well. Um, not just Amelia because she's pregnant and she can't always come and help me. But I'm going to help her as well. But yes, come outside. I want to show you something. And I might be doing this part of the DIY. So, outside. Don't mind the grass. So, there's this branch that fell down. I don't know when it fell down. I'm pretty sure like it was a storm that we had this year. I don't know what it was. But I was thinking of using this like as you know those frosted birch wood like type of Christmassy branches that you can use to decorate your house or your garlands or Christmas trees or whatever. They're really expensive and I was thinking of making my own. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I guess I can try. That's what I'm going to try and do with this branch here. So there's this branch and there's a few other branches that I might like frost with snow and make it look beautiful. And here there's like this branch that has like knots in it and it's like really nice. And maybe I can like saw it down and chop it all the way to there and like use them as like little timber logs to like put it in a basket or something or I really want to hang up my stockings and I don't have a fireplace like not many people do in Australia but I was thinking I could hang it above the TV with that branch because the TV kind of could be a fireplace you know so I was thinking you know how you can buy like those Christmas themed like doormats so like when you enter in there's like a reef and then there's a, like a cute doormat and it says like happy holidays or Merry Christmas Christmas on it. I was thinking, well, I already bought it, <laughs> but I bought a mat from Ikea. This was $10, pretty pricey just for a mat from Ikea that's plain. But I think it's still pretty cool because I was thinking of like doing my own like sign on it saying like happy holidays or Merry Christmas or something and like spray painting it and like making my own stencil. So I might do that one today as well. Let's go find a piece of cardboard. I've been really liking like going to like op shops and stuff uh, for Christmas decorations this year. Like I feel like it's just cheaper and like a lot of things like people like throw away that are like really nice and they only sell them for like a dollar most of the time it's at op shops. So that's been my favorite thing to do recently. Especially if you've seen on my Instagram stories, I've been doing that a lot recently. And just been like going to like different ones, like my local ones. And then like I'll like make a map and like go to like heaps of them just to find like the best things possible. Millie and I did it the other day and we vlogged it. I don't know if it's up yet. I think it is. 
Anyway, I got a piece of cardboard and I need a pen to be able to write on it. Okay, I can't find a Sharpie. So I'm going to get a pencil. So I was thinking of popping it just like on the corner here because I know a lot of people step right here and I don't want it to wear down like super quickly. So maybe I'll just like have Merry here and then Christmas along here. Hopefully my cardboard is long enough. Maybe I have to go out there. Christmas and then Merry down here. So I drew out the word Christ because it didn't fit on the paper and then I'm going to draw mass. <laughs> but yeah, eh, my writing's all right. But I'm going to cut it out and make it into a stencil. Okay, so I cut out the Merry Christmas. So I'm going to spray paint it on now with I think, I think I should use white. I mean, I'm doing like a winter wonderland theme, so I think so, but hopefully it'll be fine to do that color just because of like feet going on it. But also like you don't use it that often because it's like Christmas mat, so I think it'll be fine. I can always change the color. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. So this is the Christmas one, but I've got the mass there. And then I've got a Y and E to write Mary, and I'll just use the M and the R from here. Oh, I need the little cutouts that I cut out from there. Okay, there's nothing. That turned out, this one looks too separated, like it was on a different page, which it was. But hopefully if I put the Mary there, it'll distract from this being weirdly bigger. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. I can't believe that looks so cool. My Y is a little crooked. It moved, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. One DIY done. Okay, so it stopped raining. I'm going to try and attempt to cut this down with a handsaw. got one of the sticks from out in the backyard that I chopped down and I'm just gluing down the bark at the moment because the bark was like falling off because it had been sitting there for a long time. Hopefully I can like whitewash this and then add some like texture and color with paint to make it look like like birch wood. That's the plan. There doesn't seem to be any bugs in here because I've left it overnight and I've shaken it. So hopefully there's no bugs in here. I'm going to mix up some brown paint and white paint and maybe some black as well to make those little like black dots on it or black lines. So this is the paint color that I'm using. I'm just going to add a little bit to the white to make it a little bit more like of a, a creamy sort of color. Okay. So so this is what birch wood looks like. It looks very papery and white and like got like light brown in it and then random black dark spots like around the knots. Um, and then it's got like little lines that are like dark brown all through it. Kind of looks like like cut marks. Let's hope I can create that. Oh! Okay, okay so that's the kind of the color. It's just a little bit more creamier. I think that's good. I want some of the natural wood to shine through, so maybe I need it more, more water. Ooh, that's a lot. Maybe I should treat it as I'm whitewashing it and get like a rag, that's a good idea. Okay, okay let's see if that works. Hmm, it's a little, a little too white, maybe the watered down version would be good. Okay, glue down. Ooh, 
Yeah, the wood underneath kind of looks a little bit green. I think because that might be like mold. I don't know. I've tried to glue down most of the parts, but I don't have so many rubber bands to like hold them there. All right, I'm just gonna keep painting and <laughs> see how it turns out. Some black paint, um, actually watercolor paint, but that should be good. So this is what it's looking like. Kind of bad job, but I've realized maybe if I like in the like the breaking of the bark, putting in some black in there, and then maybe some like a bit of brown as well and a bit of light brown, that kind of makes it look very birch-like. It's looking like I need to add a bit more brown to the white mix, just because it's like so white. Or maybe I add white on all of it, and then a bit of brown, and then the darker parts. Okay, so right now I am grabbing some white and I'm just kind of like swiping it on it randomly and then grabbing some of like this brown color and then just like swiping it randomly on places. So then it just gives it like a bit of texture and then I'm gonna go in with like solid black and like just go in like the knots area and it makes it like look really cool and contrast with like the white. Hopefully that works. Maybe I'll add snow to it. If you can see this part here, if you can see those dark cracks, maybe like making more of them with like the black paint because that's what birch wood has a lot of fat on it. But yes, this is what it's looking like so far. And then I'm going to go at the ends of the log and I'm just gonna add white and then I'm gonna add a little bit of brown like circle sort of texture um, that just creates like the cut look. Okay, I'm gonna add some black to the knobs now. seems to be like a center dot and then it's like kind of sprays out from there from the knot get like less paint on your brush and then just like brush it over so I'm just gonna keep doing that throughout the whole log and hopefully it turns out Looking pretty cool. The little lines I'm creating with a small brush and I've got black mixed with brown and I'm just adding little lines here and there. They can be quite close to each other because there are a lot of them, but they're just quite small. That kind of creates the effect of it. But something I've noticed, which is a really cool technique, if I do this, if I add some white, add some white to here and make it all bright, using water spreads it and makes it look quite real as well. Okay, so add the white and then what you're gonna do is get your brown mix of black. You add the lines to it. Now I've got my black and brown, which is a bit watered down as well. So it kind of gives it a bit more of a softer look. See all those lines and then you get your white bigger brush and then you go over it with some white and this direction and then it creates like a smudged look and then you can see the lines in the background. You can see like a subtle lines in the like underneath it's kind of coming through which is really cool and then it gets rid of that harsh lines and then you can add the more harsh lines over top of it so it's got a layering effect i found that really cool and it makes it look like real i also like to add a lot of water to the the paint that's creating the lines just so it spreads a little bit easier and you don't get like a brush stroke look, you get more of that natural look. Okay, I am pretty proud of this, but look what I just made. There it is, my fake birch tree.
Maybe I should FaceTime Amelia and see if she'll pick up and show her. Hello, how are you? So, guess what I just made? What? I'll show you. Yeah, 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 I'm filming. Okay, ready? This, this is it. Oh my God. How cool. Wow. I know. That looks great. Yeah. Can you see like the detail? It's so cool, hey. I'm vlogging right now too. So, say hi. Oh my gosh, I don't look like presentable. You've looked like that on a video oh, before. The Christmas map. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Do you want to do the outro with me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you put a filter on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if there's a Christmas <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this DIY video that I made the log and the mat. I had a lot of fun doing it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed me vlogging. <laughs> You'll see Sorry, Amelia. I'm not there. Sorry, I'm not there in person. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia might be doing one of these vlogging episodes as well where she might be doing some Christmas DIYs with Evie. Uh, well, Evie will help. I'm sure she won't be that much help, but <laughs> she'll help somewhat. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>